Molière was completely in the moment and, uh, you know, when he was writing he wasn't a classical playwright, he wasn't an antique. Um, he was completely in the moment, topical references and um, uh, all kinds of jokes about things that were going on that day in the moment. I think we've stayed true to the spirit of Molière, although there's very, and we follow the plot and the characters, but it, it feels, the language is very today, it's very fresh, it's very American. It's very us. In my mind, my character is kind of a mix between Marge Simpson and Carol Kane in uh, The Princess Bride. It's all those great comics or comic shows that have that, there's just a thread that holds the thing together. Uh, and you really don't want any more than that because you're so delighted by just the antics and the anarchy and the chaos and the riffs and the rhythms and the sounds and the sweetness. Of it. it was this fantastic band that we have, this kind of klezmery coming out of the, the, the spirit of the Commedia dell'arte with a tuba and a trombone and an accordion and the glockenspiel and the woodblock, you know, so it's really, it's really full of life in the, in the greatest way. There's something like wonderfully chaotic about it, you know, which is also my favorite thing about working with Chris, is he, he looks for a way to bring theater as close to the brink of complete chaos and pandemonium as he can without, you know, completely tipping into that. But the threshold, it's, it's pretty, you know, it's right at the edge there, which is what makes it so exciting to do and fun to watch. This play is really not much more than an excuse for a lot of fun. <laughs>